for many of you, probably if you're aware, that the estate tax was gone last year. And it's supposed to be back this year. But as you know, the people in Congress like to rewrite history. So I'm going to give you the kind of what the changes are so you know what's going on. So hopefully that you'll get all straightened out. But here's the, here's the thing. You only need to know this for the next two years, because after that, we're supposed to go back to the old regime. So stay tuned for the next extension of the tax, probably after the 2012 election. Anyways, um, as always, I have to give a disclaimer. Anything I say here is just my opinion. The IRS has their own opinion. And you can't quote me, because the IRS doesn't know, doesn't recognize me as as a specialist or an expert, okay? Oh, well, I got it backwards. The first disclaimer was, um, well, this is informational only. Now, here's the IRS required disclosure, that anything said or presented in class can't be used to defend yourself in case of an IRS audit or examination. That's a requirement. So I'll give you a little background. You know, last year, well, before last year, Back in uh, 2009, we were all debating about whether the estate tax would go away or not go away. And, and we know the politicians wanted to, with all the massive bailout that they were doing, there's going to become a day of reckoning where they're going to need to raise significant amount of revenues to offset all the massive stimulus that, went, that was pumped into the economy. So in order to pay for that, they, there was rumors, and probably uh, everybody thought that the, that the estate tax repeal wasn't going to go through for 2010. So all the major players, the lobbyists, were all betting that the estate tax will come back in 2010. To the surprise of everyone, the estate tax actually was repealed in 2010. That was history. Nobody ever thought that it was actually ever going to happen. All of us were sitting on the edge of our desk saying, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, it's going to come back. And lo and behold, no estate tax. But, you know, um, leave it to Congress, leave it to the President, and an election that turned everything upside down. I've never seen how Congress move their tails so quickly after an election is over. And guess what they came up with right before Christmas? A massive tax bill with lots of goodies. I guess they, they're going to change the name of Congress to Santa Claus Congress. <laughs> they love to give away things. And they really gave a lot. What they did, they, um, you know, basically with the act, which is uh, was uh, right before Christmas, they basically extend the Bush tax cut for the next two years. But you know, they never named the bill after the person who's already left office. They always name the bill of the person who's in office. So instead of calling it the Bush tax cut, it's called the Obama tax cut. So anyways, bear with me. Um, okay, this legislation, comprehensive tax and unemployment insurance. Well, one of the benefits of this is that the tax benefit uh, has been extended for two years. The um, Unemployment has been extended as, a, as part of the compromise so that people who were uh, unemployed, receiving unemployment insurance checks, would continue to get this. This is part of the compromise. <coughs> the other thing that happened is that, um, oh, here's my joke line. I'm a little ahead of my slide here. Um, one of the things that they did in this act, which was neat, was they dealt with the estate tax issue. And as, as my little note says, the estate tax is back. What's, what's so funny is they repeal the estate tax repeal. Double negative? <laughs> Actually, what they did is they retroactively said that the estate tax is back for 2010. And we're all scratching our heads and saying, well, shoot, you know, all this time we have no estate tax and now we have it. Now, but here's the, here's the catch. Here's the catch. As a compromise for all those billionaires who died last year, 
who will have billions of dollars ready to sue the government for taking for bring, bringing back the estate tax, they put in a little compromise in there. So we'll talk a little bit about it. But one of the benefits of the estate tax that's good news for all of us is that the step up basis rule came back last year. Because under the repeal of the estate tax, we didn't have step up in basis, which meant that your original purchase price would carry over to all your heirs. And what a mess that is. How many in here have kept their escrow statements for the home they purchased 20, 30, 40 years ago? I do. <laughs> You're not even that old. <laughs> <laughs> Either you're, not, you're, either you're a pat rat or, no, no, that's good. One of the things people call me up and says, how long should I keep tax records? If you still own the property, you better hang on to it. You never know when you may really need it. Okay. Need support in case of an audit. All right, so step up basis is back. The other, the other thing is, is that this, uh, this rule that the state tax is effective as of December 31st, 2009. So basically this law is retroactive. So there's two camps in this in the country. Some some believe in retroactivity and some just plain don't. Well this this satisfies everybody. Okay? So bottom line is the repeal of the estate tax never happened. We all live in La La Land, right? Okay. What are the provisions in here? For those who died in 2010, under the assumption that there was no estate tax, Congress says, fine, you can have that if you make an election to treat that 2010 had no estate tax, okay? Here, in order to do that, the executor has to, has to make an election that the estate tax repeal and the carryover provisions under the old repeal law is effective. Now this election that the executor makes is irrevocable, meaning that once you make it, you can't, if you change your mind, you can't go back on it. You're kind of, kind of stuck with that uh, irre irrevocable election. But what that means is, is that you have a choice. If you, right now, for people who died in 2010, you can either elect to pay the estate tax or elect not to pay the estate tax. But of course, if you're dead, how can you make this choice? So the executor has to make this choice. But the thing is, who in their right mind wants to pay the estate tax? Who in their right mind want to pay the estate tax? So obviously, those who have a taxable estate will, not, will elect to say that the estate tax doesn't apply to them. This is only good for 2010. Okay? Now, the time to make this election is, is by September 15th. So we're going to get some more rules. You know, these rules are so new, even the IRS has to come up with the, with the ways to implement them. So everything is all a guessing game, but the basic framework is there. So those who died in 2010, they can elect to treat that they're not subject to the estate tax. But if your estate is under $5 million or below the exemption amount, then you might say, well, I want to be under the taxable regime. Why? Because there's some tax benefit. And that tax benefit is, I get to the, the use the step up basis rule. Okay, so some of the new rules, I got ahead of myself, is that now a state of five million, under $5 million is not subject to the estate tax. Bottom line, that means $10 million of assets is exempt from the estate tax. The old rule, the old rule was three and a half million and it was supposed to go back down to one million. What it, all it means is that there's gonna be a, a lot of unemployed attorneys out there because a lot of people don't have to pay estate taxes, so these, so these attorneys will now have to find another job. Okay. Maybe that's good for the economy, who knows? More unemployment. Okay, now, this $5 million is going to be adjusted for inflation after uh, 2011, which is 2012, in other words. The tax rate was supposed to go up to 55% this year, but under the new 